welcome into my channel I'm just going to do this little short video here and uh, as you guys can probably see it's dark and I finished my day and uh, as I told you guys, probably want to tell you guys on this video uh, that uh, I bought a new GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition and I didn't realize that the uh, low light option in there was turned on so I filmed all day filmed my show the whole day and realized that uh, my uh, low light option was turned on in there and that causes the camera to uh, not record as good as it does and uh, if that option has been turned off so uh, I apologize for the video going to be a little bit crappy today but uh, I can pretty much promise you tomorrow should be a better better video quality so with that let's get to the rest of the show and hope you guys enjoy it though. good morning good morning everybody welcome into my channel as you guys probably are able to tell things are a little different yes they certainly are I am just coming into dry in Ontario right now and that's where I'll be uh, picking up my load yep and then we are going to go to Jackson Missouri yep as you can probably tell it's a uh, beautiful day out here today at least I, I am enjoying it. Yeah. A little windy out there right now, but it's actually not Roger bad. Leader. Turn right on King Street. Yep. So here we are coming into Dryden, as I said. Yeah, I got me a, a new GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Yep their best there is this one actually records at uh, 1080p at 120 frames per second which is uh, 60 frames per second better than the GoPro 3 Black Edition or 3 Plus whatever you want to call it I think they call it a 3 uh, Black Plus Edition or something like that anyways We'll be uh, picking up our load here very shortly, as I said. You can probably see the uh, big stacks up there. That's the paper mill that we're going to be picking up at. I got to go a little bit around in order to get to it, but that's where I'll be picking up my reload. Turn right on King Street and then oh, turn right on 450 be. meters. I can't be making my turn up here yet. That's not a truck route. I don't know what the Ram Magnelli is dreaming about. Or RJ, I should say. Pardon me. Yes, I don't know what RJ is talking about. Oh, well. Yes, it felt like Christmas uh, yesterday and the day before. Gave me all kinds of new toys. Got me this new uh, GoPro camera, as I said, with the case with it uh, that I can clip it onto my windshield here. Got me an external battery right away. Got me an uh, extra memory card, because it needs a memory card, right? And I didn't just go with that. I also went with a new laptop. Yeah. It all felt like Christmas this weekend. Christmas come early this year. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways. I'm going to show you guys later on what my laptop looks like. It's got pretty good specs on it. At least I think it does. I went with the uh, Asus. It's A-S-U-S. -S. 
That's how it's spelled. One kilometer, slight right on Duke Street, Highway 594. And it's got the i core 74710 HQ processor. And it's got 24 gigabyte RAM. And it's got a 4 gigabyte Nivea 8, no, 980M. That's basically the newest video card that's available for a laptop. Yes, that's pretty high up there, you know. And uh, it's got a uh, one terabyte hard drive, which is a disk drive. Meters, so but it's not the traditional type of disk, uh, disk drive. The traditional one, I think, so runs at uh, Street, Highway 594. Runs at about 5200 RPM. This one does a run at 7200 RPM, so it's the faster one. And then it's got a additional uh, 256 SSD drive. That is a uh, faster uh, hard drive basically just like a memory card if you guys haven't heard of it what it is for those of you that aren't very tech, technical and fine or whatever you want to call it but that's basically what it is and that's where Windows is installed I got Windows 8.1 in here and uh, that's where it's installed so it is super 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 fast yep I'll show you later on it's a 17 inch screen it's a really thick one but it's got nice cooling system it's nicely designed for cooling I tried playing some games there yesterday with my brother while I was at home and it performs really really good I am very impressed with it oh yeah certainly is super super good but anyways, we're just about to pick up our load here, so I'll be back in a bit. Well guys, we have finished picking up our load here in Dryden, Ontario. And now I am making my way down to the border. Yes siree. If you are a, a regular viewer, You'll probably have seen me go down this road probably before. Cross into uh, Minnesota there by International Falls. Yep, that's where I'm going to be crossing at. I am on uh, Highway 502 right now. It's a really narrow stretch of highway. For about 150 kilometers a stretch there, it's pretty much 80 kilometers an hour speed limit and it's zigzagging and narrow, it's hilly and all that stuff and pretty much no cell service up in this area. And uh, just as I turned onto this highway, I've only gone down like maybe two miles and uh, there's already a deer with a little one uh, coming across the highway there so we got all kinds of wildlife up here so we gotta watch out for that I've heard other guys seeing moose down here a couple of times I think I only saw one one time here but uh, so far I've been lucky well, it looks like all the Frost is starting to come out now. All the roads are going to be pretty rough here. Looks like the asphalt is breaking up in some parts too. Oh well, nothing I can control, right? All I can say is this is a uh, beautiful uh, stretch of highway. Yep, that's for sure. Oh well. Got probably.
probably about two hours to the border. Then we will be in Minnesota. We'll be leaving Ontario. I'm actually glad that I can go in the bush here right now because uh, the wind is coming pretty darn strong today from the west. It's gusting up to 52 kilometers an hour, which is about uh, 31 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. I mean, I do have a heavy load on right now, but. Uh, Anyways, hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I probably didn't have any there the last two days. So at least I haven't made any yet for the last two days. But uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. Sometimes you're home and you're with your family. You're busy. I was working on the computer there pretty much all day yesterday and the day before, setting everything up. You know, playing around with it, playing a few games on it. I normally don't play any games. I haven't played any games probably in five years. Uh, just testing it out to see how it would handle the games, you know. And my brother came over and he brought a few high demanding games and I was doing pretty good. I don't know if you guys are familiar with any uh, games, but he brought one over. It's called Whole Dog or something like that. Or whole dog, I don't know, it's a whole, whole dog, it's some kind of shooting game or something like that. My brother was pretty impressed with the, with the ratings that I got. He said all the video quality on high, ultra high pretty much. And uh, I still got uh, 57 frames per second, which is pretty darn good. He said on this computer, he only have a one gigabyte video card. He said he could only play it on minimum or medium or all the way low settings and uh, he would only only get like 20 frames per second so I'm doing pretty good anyways we'll keep it rolling well guys we are coming into Fort Francis Ontario right now Yes sir, we're only a couple of minutes away from the border. I just figured I'd show you guys this a little bit here. Just a couple of weeks ago when I came through here, everything was ice and snow and look at that river or whatever you want to call it there to the left. It was completely covered in snow and ice there a couple of weeks ago and now it's all melted. Yep. Oh man, this is real rough road though coming through here, but that's just the way it is. Yep, I just figured, uh, I know I've shown this area up here before, but uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous, you know, and I figured, ah, uh, why not show it again, right? Give you guys a little bit of a different view of what it looked like from a couple of weeks ago. This boat is always here. I think it's a museum here to the left. Museum boat. Yeah. And now you can see all the leaves. The leaves that have fallen onto the ground there before winter. You can see them all on the ground now. Pretty much almost all the snow is gone. That's just gorgeous. Too bad it's just not over yet. It could very well be snowing again. Right now it's gorgeous, it's not windy, I mean it's not cold, cold enough to where I think it would snow. It is fairly windy, but <laughs> ah well, that's yeah, just the way it goes sometimes, you know. And I sure hope you guys are liking the, the way I'm setting up this video. If you do, uh, please leave me a comment down below. That way you can, uh, Victoria Avenue. Let and me then know. Jump left at 250 meters. If you guys like it. And if you don't, then I guess. Leave me a comment too and let me know. And if there's enough people, I guess we will just have to change things, but. 
I like I think I'm gonna like it. You don't get to see a little bit of me more and you also get to see the road where I'm driving. Yeah. Sometimes I might Turn have one out. camera well, facing a different way, a different direction, and on the other direction, you know? Well, you might get to see all kinds of stuff, so. Oh, look at this beautiful Peterbilt up here. You want to see him here right away. Look at them shiny rims that he's got. Thank you for stopping the early trucker. Let me come around the corner. Yeah, we got another big paper mill up here to the left. Yep. Never actually picked up uh, anything up here yet, but I know a friend of mine does sometimes, you know. Gotta make sure we stop completely at that stop sign. Especially since the cop cops uh, offices just at the corner there so <laughs> you know they could just be sitting there and watching you yep anyways we'll get across here and then uh, we'll see you guys on the other side well 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 we are back on the road just finished uh, eating a little bit Stopped over here in uh, Cook, Minnesota. And just before I uh, stopped there, I was uh, talking to uh, Larry. Not Larry, I mean uh, Jerry. Yeah, I always mix them uh, two names up. Larry, Jerry, Jerry, Larry. <laughs> I talked to... Uh, Larry quite a few times so I always mix them up you know but I was talking to Jerry yep it was uh, nice talking to him again and if you guys don't know who he is go on his channel uh, on YouTube you can find him on YouTube there by uh, typing in trucker Jerry Goes, uh, goes by that name there on YouTube. You go check him out. He does uh, more like home videos. He did trucking for a little bit, but now he's at home. He's waiting to get his eye fixed and stuff like that. He's got some eye problems. So uh, once he gets that done, he's probably going to go back on the road. But uh, yeah, was watching. Uh, Rocker Jukebox's video this morning and that's uh, the guy I was talking about, Larry. <laughs> His real name is Larry. He also has a YouTube channel. And uh, check him out as well. And he was saying this morning on one of his videos uh, something about uh, keeping his shoes on says he's going to keep his shoes on I don't care if he wants to keep us if you want to keep your shoes on Larry <laughs> be my guest man you can keep your shoes on I know you have dogs in there and it's always a little messier when you have dogs in the truck you know but I don't have that so I always take my shoes off I try to keep it here uh, cl fairly clean in my truck you know, at least to the best of my capability. It's not not always going to be as clean as you saw it. If you, as you saw it there, uh, Larry. But uh, I tried to keep it fairly clean. But uh, anyways, we're having ourselves a great day. Yep, the wind has died down a little bit, so I don't feel the wind as much anymore. Which is good. That way I can drive pretty good and get pretty good fuel mileage. Yep. Anyways, we'll keep on, keep on, and we'll be back. 
we are guys my day is officially over and I'm a bit scared that my alarm just came on here that my lights are gonna go out here so hopefully that's not gonna be a problem but we are in uh, Rush City Minnesota and I promise you guys that I would show you my new laptop and I'm recording this right now with my new GoPro 4 Black Edition so here it is yep have a look at that keyboard I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it let me turn off the lights here a little bit and so you can see it a little bit better yep you should probably be able to see the red lights in there that's pretty cool eh yeah, I'm gonna turn the lights back on here and uh, we'll give you some specs. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see it. Hopefully the camera is gonna focus. You can see it's the Asus G751J Y dash. <laughs> they got way too many numbers anyways. It's got the uh, iCore 74710HQ. It's got 24 gigs of RAM. It's got a 256 gigabyte uh, SSD drive and a one terabyte uh, drive for uh, ex like for extra storage. A 17.3 inch full HD video, and if my lights don't go out here all the time, it's got the uh, GTX 980M graphics card, which is the uh, GE Force. GTX 9M 980M. It's gotten 4,000 M 96 MB for GG GDDR5 uh, memory for the video card, which is pretty darn good. Yep. Yeah. What else we got? We got a Blu-ray player. We got a two built-in speakers. Oh yeah. Anyways, it's a pretty darn good laptop, in my opinion. I'm gonna show you the top here a little bit if I can. Hopefully the stuff will stay on here. Let's give you guys a little bit of a look on it. Yeah, that light in the back there lights up as well. And it's a fairly thick laptop. That would probably be a good idea to show you this in during the daytime, but just have a look at that. It's got huge fans right here at the end where the exhaust comes out. It's a uh, pretty heavy laptop, but uh, hey, works great. I've been playing some games on it yesterday, like I told you guys earlier, and it works pretty darn good. I'm very impressed with it. Hey, yep. Anyways, we're calling it a day, so we'll uh, probably throw this in the laptop and we'll see what we can come up with. And I guess we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Come on. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thanks for watching.